Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So y'all, we made it. Welcome to 2020. Um, this is exciting. Uh, I just really feel like this is going to be a really exciting year for all of us. Uh, not just an exciting year, but a really a, an exciting decade to come. So congratulations to all of us that made it through the hell that has been the last, I want to say two and a half years. I know for many of us, there was a massive activation that happened in the summer of 2017. I know that's when my activation really happened, <laughs> like big time. And then, you know, 2018, 2019, 2019 especially though, were periods of purging and healing and letting go of things that no longer serve us so that we can create space for that which we truly desire and what we really want in our lives. So welcome to that decade where it seems that this stuff is gonna be coming through. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. And also, I'm very excited for you guys to see the readings for this month, um, for January of 2020. Uh, as I was doing them, you know, they were all ugh, all coming out really great. Even though there were some, you know, challenging parts for certain signs or certain situations, ultimately, though, it's all a good thing. And it's all, um, Spirit is saying, even now, it's a process of healing and... Um, uh, process of healing that is taking place in order for us to really break free from the chains and do what it is we truly desire in our lives yeah so just a few things um i want to mention first if you are interested in getting a personal reading please don't hesitate to email me all of the information is in the description box below um just keep in mind that if you are looking for a private a personal reading your best bet is to just email me first as that's where I'm most likely going to direct you. You can hit me up on Instagram. That one is a pretty good option. I'm, However, I'm going to be asking you for your email address anyway, so you may as well just want to email me if you want to do that. Do not send any inquiries through Facebook. I will not be taking uh, private reading inquiries through Facebook. Yes, that is just not as a reliable source for communication at least in my opinion, as I've experienced moving forward, yeah? Email is always the best, but also Instagram is a good way too. You can find all of that information, the link to my Facebook page, the link to my my Instagram page, and my email address, along with all of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and prices in the description box below, yeah? Um, so for the readings this month, Oracle Guidance is coming again from the Earth Warriors Oracle. I really, really love this deck. This was a gift from one of our subscribers here. Thank you so much, Sam. I really love this deck. Um, and then the readings themselves are structured a little bit differently. First of all, I highly recommend that everybody watches the Capricorn reading as we are in Capricorn season right now, or at least as for the month of January. Um, a very happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there, by the way, and also a very happy birthday to the January Aquarians. Yeah. But um, I do recommend that people do watch the Capricorn reading because even if you don't have Capricorn in your chart, uh, it can give you a good amount of insight as to um, you know what you could expect during Capricorn season. Moving Moving forward, I do think I want to do that more often. I may actually just start doing a reading, a separate reading for the season that we're moving into because I kind of feel like, uh, you know, I don't want you guys' readings to get hijacked when it's supposed to be like, say, for Capricorn, but it turns into a big old collective reading. So that's the way it worked this time. Moving forward, I think I am going to do a separate reading because I think it would be good just to have a general reading just to see what's going on for the collective um, in terms of the different seasons that we're moving into. Also, for the readings, I have now included Jupiter in the situation. And it's funny because for the last like six months of 2019, I was kind of hearing myself say and want to say Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I just never actually did it. Um, but starting this year, it is a thing. Um, Jupiter is a great way, like say if you're looking in terms of love, if you're looking for like a husband or your like a masculine counterpart, you would look to your Jupiter sign. And conversely, if you were looking for like a wife or a feminine counterpart, you would look to your Venus sign. But also Jupiter is a planet of luck um, and, and finance and fortune and whatnot. And so if you kind of want to see like maybe how your career is going or whatnot, whatever, you might want to look at Jupiter. Yeah. So I just threw that in there. Um, in case you guys were interested, yes. Also, moving on into 2020, my channel is now 
up and eligible for memberships and with memberships come different tiers of perks and whatnot and so over the year of 2020 i am going to be rolling that out i have some planning to do with it i wish i could roll it out you know january 1st it's ready to go but that's really not realistic because i didn't get the email the notification about it until like mid-December when I was actually, I was in the middle of recording the last Twin Flame reading that I did for December, which is a great one. If you haven't seen it yet, absolutely go ahead and watch that. But I got the email during that reading. And so I'm now, I got to take some time to plan and see what I want to do, what kind of perks I want to offer um, and all that kind of stuff. But that is coming. I'm super, super excited about that. Um, I'm going to be going through a whole rebranding process during the month of, or during the year of 2020. So I'm super, super excited to bring you guys more content. And I would, if you're interested in becoming a member, I would highly recommend that you do that because then that's going to provide me with more financial stability in order to devote more time to the channel and to the readings and to you guys. And there are more things that I want to offer, like tarot uh, services, like count, um, uh, counseling services. If you're interested in learning the tarot, um, that might actually be a membership perk that I'll offer, like a you know for members only weekly like tarot masterclass or some something like that. You know what I mean? I mean it's just an idea, but um, if you are interested in membership, I would highly recommend that you consider doing so once it's available, because again, that will allow me more time um, and, to be able to devote. To the channel yes okay guys so i guess that's it i'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get into the reading yeah cool hello aries welcome to your reading for january 2020 thank you so much for tuning in okay so let's get into this so aries your energy for this month i feel is very stern very strong very firm standing very much in control um i'm definitely feeling what would be considered in the tarot the emperor energy because you're very much standing in a place of being the master of your own domain and the emperor does absolutely represent aries okay so that makes sense um we haven't gotten the emperor card yet um, we may see, let's see if maybe we'll get it in the rest of your reading here, but your pre-shuffle energy is really talking about a lot so far. So before I start explaining the cards, I want to explain the feeling that I was getting as I was um, connecting to your energy and channeling you. I was just, I was seeing you, uh, what I'm hearing for Aries is the battering ram. Um, and I'm getting an energy of being very stern, um, very, very ready, very standing at attention. Okay, standing very firm and very strong in your own convictions. I don't feel like you're really looking for a fight, but I do feel like if something were to pop off, you would quickly work to put things back into place. So maybe that could look at like you putting someone into their place, um, you know, in terms of, you know, how they where they stand within your own reality. So we'll say if someone seems to be stepping out of line in terms of the conditions you have set for your own environment, you would not hesitate to put them back into place, to set the record straight. Again, I'm not feeling an energy of being overly aggressive or looking to, to, um, looking to to get into it with anybody looking to really be too aggressive in terms of your interactions with people however should should the uh the the situation arise you would not hesitate you hesitate you would not even give it a second thought to to, to set the record straight or to set things back in alignment and again this has to do with your own set of rules for your own reality okay Ultimately, this is a very good thing. Um, it's very strong. It's very powerful. Um, it's very controlling. But ultimately, it's controlling from a, a balanced emperor state in the in the point to the point where controlling to make sure you maintain the stability, the longevity, the health, and the security of you and yours basically okay this is not a controlling situation in which you're just looking to assert domin dominance over someone because or someone or something because you're power hungry or maybe because you might have been coming from a place of insecurity therefore you're needing to to assert some sort of 
exceeding control over your surroundings, over your circumstances, over other people. That would be the emperor energy in a negative stance. This is emperor energy in a very positive, balanced, and grounded stance. This is very much the protector, the, provi the provider, the, the proverbial father figure that is just maintaining the structure so that their fam the family, the environment, the community, whatnot, whatever, whomever you serve, can flourish, can continue to flourish in their own individuality, correct? Okay, so let's get into the cards here. There was quite a bit of a dump um, of cards, um, but ultimately this is pretty much explaining what I'm feeling here. You are, there is an energy of someone else so other than you, Aries, and, and, and keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So either I'm talking to the Aries or I'm talking to the cross watcher, you know, and it's general. So please just take it as it resonates for yourself. OK, place, place it how it fits for you. But I am getting I am kind of feeling an energy of two individuals here, one being the Aries, one being the other person. If both of you are an Aries or both of you have Aries, major Aries placement in your chart, then it's it, it, there's one person and then there's another person. OK, but. What I'm getting for one person here, which I do, especially with what I was picking up on already for you, Aries, this is most likely you, or maybe this is the cross watcher. Again, it's a general reading. Please keep that in mind. But you have the six of pentacles, the six of swords, the fool, and the nine of wands. It's this nine of wands energy here that's giving me this, this energy of standing at attention or standing at the ready, ready to fight for something you believe in, ready to fight for someone you love, ready to reinforce your boundaries. So it should something or someone step out of line in terms of the rules and regulations you have set for your reality. It is from a place of moving from the past, um, leaving rough waters behind. I'm hearing specifically closing out some pretty nasty narcissistic cycles, potentially closing out situations with individuals that were uh, and, and, and relationships that were less than reciprocal. Okay. Six of wands. I'm sorry. Six of swords, six of pentacles. It is reciprocity that you are taking this leap of faith towards and continuing to move on moving move on towards you are persevering towards okay really um okay well really your focus right now is reciprocity balance of give and take but your transition did you see how my hand hit that six of swords and it kind of eclipsed or covered that six of pentacles your transition is taking over right now so yes your your focus your your compass your gps is set to situations and circumstances that are balanced and reciprocal but right now your focus is on the 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 the, the movement the travel the um the journey towards what your GPS is set to with the Six of Pentacles. And you're very much asserting yourself and you're very much maintaining your boundaries. Again, this could be in a little bit of a fierce way, but you know, if you do experience that on like if some if someone if some Aries individual it becomes really, really stern with you, very strong with you, very matter of fact, like not fucking around, don't take it personally. Okay. They are reinforcing their own boundaries. They are reinforcing what it is that they are journeying towards, that they are taking a leap of faith towards. Okay. It's really not personal. But at the same time, don't step to no Aries with no mess, right? Okay, so then let's talk about this side here. This is where I'm feeling, this is potentially another person. I really don't feel like it's the same person that's in this energy here. I feel like it's this, there's another person out there that might be connecting with you. This could be a divine counterpart. This could be a, a romantic interest. This even could be a business interest. If this is a business interest, a business partnership, potentially, if someone wants to come forward towards you with some sort of offer, I would be very cautious. I would be very cautious about this Aries. If there's any sort of, or Aries or the cross watcher, maybe the Aries is the one that's coming through with you with, on some sort of business tip, but I feel like there's some shady business going on here, okay? Because of this devil energy. Between the Knight of Cups and the devil here, if this has to do with business, I don't think this is a very lucrative opportunity. I'm getting an energy of someone being extremely selfish um, or just really in it for their own gain, for their own monetary gain. Yes, they may be coming towards Towards you because they see the potential within you but but also you know with this ten of wands energy here if there's some sort of business agreement or some sort of contract you could potentially be be signing in the near future this could happen in january this could happen maybe i want to say maybe about three months down the road maybe by like march around march ish 
potentially, but if there's some sort of contract, a contractual agreement or business opportunity that you might enter into, be very cautious, be very wary, because I feel like it's going to come at, I feel like ultimately what you're being sold really may not be worth it. With the Knight of Cups, the Devil, and the Ten of Wands, I really feel like somebody might be playing to your emotions, playing on your heartstrings, um, maybe even trying to scare you into some sort of business agreement that ultimately is just going to not be worth the trouble with this ten of wands here it's going to be overburdening you really may want to hold off from that strength in the four of swords and especially if someone is trying to really push the hard sell on you is really trying to get you to sign some sort of contract as soon as possible you need to stand your ground and hold off and really meditate on it really read the fine print really make sure you understand all of the details like i really want to i really want to advise you to pick that thing apart piece by piece i mean like thread by thread okay make sure that you understand you clearly understand every aspect of that agreement and if something doesn't feel right with you then hold off okay especially with this strength energy this individual or this business opportunity that might be coming in may really be trying to 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 play on you know your your desires and like really sell you sell you a pipe dream or play on some sort of desire to be really financially successful or maybe even really famous or something like that playing that old paradigm salesman pitch that old paradigm bait and switch situation oh i'm gonna pr i promise you riches and glory and fame and status but i just need your i need your john hancock just sign on the dot here right now okay well what's all this fine print oh don't worry about that that's not you don't have to worry about that just sign here uh, 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 uh. no do not let your ego allow you to jump into a situation in which now you find yourself way overburdened way overtaxed and you may even be losing a part of your identity here especially if this is a creative project if like say you're a musician or an artist or a writer or something like that do not allow the man to do not sell your soul is basically what this is saying here okay now if this is a partnership if this is a romantic partner because that's actually kind of the first thing i was picking up on when all of this fell out um there is fear involved there is someone that wants to come forward knight of cups wants to make some sort of emotional offer there's fear involved though because it's not quite the king of cups this person is feeling a desire or is receiving some sort of message to reach out to show themselves to make their their emotions known to start some sort of communication but because this is the knight of cups energy and not necessarily say a king or a queen energy it's not as mature as necessarily would be desired i kind of get the feeling that this person feels like they're not necessarily as mature as they think they need to be in order to get the ball rolling and that's not true the 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 objective here whatever guidance that you're 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 receiving from your higher self from spirit from your spirit guides whatnot whatever in terms of reaching out towards someone and expressing your emotions expressing your love expressing your feelings um that guidance is influencing you to in fact get the ball rolling to start the communication eight of wands eight of wands is your overall energy here aries in your in your pre-shuffle it's all about communication it's all about movement again get the ball rolling yes so don't allow your burdens to get you down whatever burdens that you and let me actually you know what let me rearrange this here whatever burdens you're feeling let's put it this way Whatever burdens you're feeling and whatever fears may be coming up here with the devil, it's all because of your ego. Your fe um, you know what? Let's put it this way. Your ego is putting, with the strength card here, your ego is putting all these burdens and blockages and perceived obstacles in the way. What you need to do is settle down, relax, meditate, clear your mind, and then listen for the guidance, okay? So instead of having your ego put here, instead what you need to do is flip this right so now with the strength card in this position it can be seen as ten of wands you're perceiving of all these obstacles and burdens and things that you're carrying that are potentially getting in the way no meditate relax calm your mind and find the inner strength 
okay? Tame that beast within that is flaring up with all this fear, right? And then move forward with your heart's guidance. Okay, Aries? Or Cross Watcher. I feel like that's mostly for the Cross Watcher. But again, it could be the Aries that wants to come forward. Okay? Ooh. Well, that sure was an interesting pre-shuffle. The sun is at the bottom of the deck here. That just caught my eye as I'm doing this, as I'm reshuffling here. That's a really good thing. Illumination, clarity, freedom. Yes? Please bear with me. Now my nose is starting to act up. All right, Aries, I'm going to give this one shuffle, and then we're going to get into the rest of your reading here, yeah? Excellent. Okay. All right, sorry, guys, my nose. All right, here we go, Aries. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of January 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aries. Five shuffles. Here we go. One. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of December. Oh, nope, January. Excuse me, for the month of January 2019, 2020. Good Lord. <laughs> Three. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of January 2020. Four. Battering Ram. Yes. And five. You know... There is a very protective energy about you right now, Aries, which I'm, I'm really getting that emperor, big daddy. I just want to protect myself and my family. And even you want to protect your your assets or even your, your potential family. Like even if you don't necessarily have, I do feel like many of you are aware that a life partner is on its way, is on his or her way. Um, they're about to enter your life really soon. I kind of feel like you might be in a pretty nesting phase, but it's from a very masculine point of view at this point. Um, really just wanting to be the, the protector and the provider, settling down and doing the things that you know you need to do, even hunkering down to prepare to have some sort of family structure in the future. You might be really in an energy uh, a, a, an energy of getting yourself in that mindset, whereas you don't necessarily have physical things in place right now, but you're starting to prepare yourself mentally, maybe even emotionally, to be in that position in the very near future, okay? That's a beautiful energy, but it is very stern and very strong. It's like a very do not mess with me, y'all. Do not. You don't want to mess with Aries right now. Overall energy, Aries, you've got the chariot. Now, looky here. Okay, so what you had in the overall energy of your pre-shuffle was the eight of wands. And in my opinion, as a reader, and according to many other people, I would say, the eight of wands can be can be a um, minor arcana version of the chariot. It's very fast moving. It is very direct, um, you know, and it... it, it so what I'm getting with this chariot energy here is Aries, you know exactly what it is that you want and you're moving towards it. You and you're not and you're not holding back and you're not afraid and you're probably in an energy of moving very quickly. Okay. You may be desiring to move very quickly. Um, I don't really feel like you're getting too frustrated if things aren't moving exactly as fast as you may want, because I feel like you're in a very mature energy a very grounded energy of knowing that everything happens for a reason and there is in fact a degree of divine timing here so with this this period this energy especially the capricorn energy as us with us being in capricorn season right now the full the 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 solar eclipse that we have on we had on the 25th of december which is basically an activation i do feel like there's there's definitely a desire to move quickly but this is more an energy of knowing exactly what you want where you want to go and taking that fiery energy that you have to move to as momentum and using it as fuel like 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 really um, portioning it out so that you're not burning yourself out here. This is a very balanced energy, Aries. I really like this. Underneath the chariot, you do have the Seven of Cups, which again, I don't think is this, I don't think the Seven of Cups is a bad thing. It's almost as if the possibilities are endless, or at least you're very aware of, you're very focused on the multifaceted nature of your reality, of your being, 
you're also very focused and aware and understanding of all the different steps that are needed to be taken or that are needed to 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 move through in order to reach your ultimate goal yeah I, i'm what i'm getting with this seven of cups energy is just that the, the possibilities are endless okay I, 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 and i feel like there's a good amount of excitement surrounding that there you go underneath the seven of cups is the ace of wands <laughs> I love it. Underneath the Ace of Wands is the Six of Pentacles again. So Aries, I, what I really feel like here is you are very stern. You are very focused. You are very secure. You are very focused, very secure. You know what it is that you want. You're not afraid to go after it. You're in alignment. You're balanced. You're grounded. You're ready to take action. The Seven of Cups here in relation to all of this is also an energy of understanding that there are there there are plenty of ways there is there are infinite ways that your dreams and desires whatever it is you are you are you are inspired towards whatever it is you're focused on creating or manifesting you're fully aware that the universe has an infinite amount of ways of providing that to you i don't feel like you're getting stuck on any one thing it's almost as if it's almost as if this is like a, a game of roulette with the universe in which you've defined your terms Okay, the chariot with the ace of wands, and now you're spinning the wheel with the universe just to, and you're gonna just to see. Okay, so this whatever this wheel is for you, this is everything that you want, you desired, right? The, the the terms that you've defined, and so now we're just waiting to see where the ball is gonna fall. Okay, unconditional love and reciprocity is the focus here. Again, I, I was I'm telling you, whomever who whomever is on this tr is on this trajectory, this is what your compass is set, or your compass or your GPS is set to compassion unconditional love reciprocity balance but also receiving that which you have been putting out for so long right you're really about to receive some sort of return on your investment and i really feel like this year of 2020 is going to be that development process not just for you aries damn near for, for basically all of us that have been doing this right now but okay Woo! This is really great energy so far, Aries. So let's get into the rest of your reading. You have first half, second half of the reading. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Take it however it resonates, yeah? First set of second, I'm um, sorry, first set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading. There it is again. That's six of swords. So, okay. So move, I really feel like, even though, you know, I don't like to, I don't like to focus too much on timelines or anything. I am getting a very strong energy of, as you have moved into January, you have moved into January with this energy as your focus, just moving forward, leaving your past behind you. The seven of cups could also represent you focusing on what elements of the past need to be left behind and taking steps to do so in a very strong and stern and balanced manner grounded also okay six of swords is coupled with the eight of pentacles absolutely that's literally what i was just saying so you're very much focused going into the month of january aries and possibly throughout the month of january your main focus right now is doing the work that you need to do in order to leave the past behind you in order to let bygones be bygones in order to close out certain cycles what not whatever like you're consciously very consciously doing that work very diligently working very hard to make sure that whatever needs to be closed out is closed out in order for you to receive that which you are inspired towards manifesting, okay? I really like this, Aries. <clears throat> Second set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading, you have... There it is, the Page of Pentacles. This is the glow up. This is the step up. This is, this is the level up. This is you embarking on a brand new journey, embarking on a brand new chapter in your life. There is a small twinge of uncertainty. Yes, because you do need to find your footing here. This is a brand new energy for you. But let me tell you, Aries, it feels like you are very prepared for this. You're like, bring it on, universe. Let's do this. I'm ready. Because really... You really took, by the end, I want to say by the end of the year of 2019, you were really able to take that bull by the reins and say, you are not going to buck me off this time. I'm, I'm staying here. I ain't going nowhere. All right. I'm hearing things like this is my time to shine. And thus, 
you're stepping into 29 or 2020, you're stepping into 2020, you're stepping into January, very firm, very secure in yourself in where it is you're moving towards in this next chapter. Yes, there are some elements of needing to find your footing, needing to feel the space out, needing to acclimate a little bit. But again, I don't feel like you're afraid of this at all. Like there is such a strong and grounded and balanced, fearless energy about you right now, Aries. And I don't mean fearless in a, in a foolish way. I mean fearless and taking taking on what the universe uh, taking what the universe has taught you over mainly 2019 but of course it does extend beyond that but really whatever was really anchored into you whatever was activated especially during that um that uh, uh what is it the uh the 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 solar eclipse on the 25th of december whatever was activated then is really moving you forward now okay page of pentacles is coupled with <laughs> fucking right yo the knight of wands i mean this is the activation right there this is you this is this is that fool energy again it's not it, well um it's not foolish but it's ready to go it's like let's do this i'm ready let's do this Okay, and again, keep in mind, it's showing up as the page and a knight because you haven't quite mastered this yet. It's still fairly new to you, but this this page energy is being heavily tempered by the knight energy. The knight is nowhere near the level of a king or a queen, but it's definitely a, a step up from the page, right? This is good. This is very good. This is fiery and passionate, but balanced and grounded. Yes? I really like this, Aries. I really, really like this. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, you have... Oh, the transformation. Death. Okay, for some of you, there is a little bit of impatience here. Um, the challenge is just to continue moving forward with your transformation. Other thing about this could be that maybe there are some Aries out there that are kind of resisting their challenge of, transform of transforming. Okay. That's not the biggest thing that I'm getting. The biggest thing that I'm getting are there are some people around you that are resisting your change, your transformation, or maybe even their own tra change or transformation. And if it's them, if, if they're resisting their own change or transformation, I really don't feel like you have any time or patience for that. So you might want to be really cautious with the other people in your life right now. Okay? Especially if they're taking any steps to tear you down or to block you or stop you from going for going moving forward with this transformation or whatnot, whatever. Please keep your keep your temper in check, okay? We don't need heads rolling. <laughs> but still. Okay. The uh, your death is coupled with Oh ooh, the three of swords. I'm hearing there are some people around you that are really mourning your transformation. Look, Aries, I, I really don't think you're taking any shit. You're stepping into January like, I don't give a damn who you are, who you have been to me, and who you think you may want to be or need to be to me in the future. I am not taking your shit. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. All right. And there are people around you that are feeling the pinch because if they're going to want to come with you, if they're going to want to be a part of your life or if they're going to want you to be a part of your life, or a part of their life, moving forward in this new paradigm shift in 2020 and beyond and all that, then they're going to have to go through some sort of transformation, too. And some of them are just not willing or ready. OK, Aries, you're really going to have to really set some strong boundaries with some people around you in your external reality. And that really could even be a, a you know, a, a partner, a life partner, a husband, a wife, um, a twin flame, a divine counter, a soulmate, a counterpart, soulmate, whatever, however you, whatever label fits you, however you describe it, whatever you feel your connection is, whatever you feel your circumstance is, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're all moving this through this paradigm shift. And if something does not, and it's interesting because I just said this for Pisces in their reading, it's like, because for Pisces, they're moving into 2020, they're going through a situation in which they're realizing how they have been gaslit and how they have been allowed to, they've been manipulated into doubting their own intuition. And Pisces, being a water sign, one of the most intuitively sound and, in, and psychically aware individuals in the zodiac, right? So that's a pretty significant thing. And when and we ended their reading with 
look, Pisces, you may have been able to get away from this certain central individual that has been, you know, gaslighting you for so long. But at this point, you're waking up to the fact that there's more of that around you, okay? It's not just that one person. And you're going to have to deal with the fact that there are some people in your life that you're going to recognize and realize that they are, they are portraying the same energy, maybe not to the same extreme as this one individual that we're talking about, but they're still doing the same thing to a lesser degree. You can't allow that in your life, okay? You can't have one and not the other. You can't, you know what I mean? You can't cut one person out and not cut the other person out if they're doing the same thing, but to a lesser degree. It does not work that way. Or moving into this, this new paradigm, it doesn't work this way. You cannot do that any longer. So Aries, it's kind of the same message for you here. Regardless of who this person is to you or who maybe who they have been, if they are still exhibiting the same behavioral patterns that they were in the past even though maybe if you've had trouble with them in the past and now you've been able to alleviate things you know you've been able to put the past beside or behind you and you know rekindle a little bit of the relationship but there's still that disconnect between who the, the person you are now and the person they still remain to be aries you're gonna have to do some cleaning you're gonna have to do some you're gonna have to make some precision surgical cuts you're really going to have to make that executive decision with that emperor energy that i'm feeling for you that has not come out yet we'll see if it does but it may not it may not need to it's not necessary because it's still kind of an overarching energy in your in your energy right now but you're gonna have to make that executive decision and say no i will not tolerate this sorry but also not sorry i have no place for this in my life and it can come from a place of unconditional love. Um, and I did just hear judgment, um, but it's also more discernment. You know, it's very discerning. All right, closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Aries, you have, ah, the five of pentacles. Well, yes, you're going to have to deal with the fact that some people are going to, are going to, um, if you really have to make some cuts, some people in your life are going to ramp up the gaslighting and make you feel like you're abandoning them or make them make you feel like you're making them feel not good enough, like you're throwing them out in the cold. But to be quite honest, Aries, with this five of pentacles energy, they're, they're, I mean, they're really only doing this to themselves. It's not like you don't love them. It's not like you don't respect them. It's not like you don't want them in, their li in your life. But quite frankly, if they are not vibing with the future and the, the energy that you are set, you, the, the future that you are moving towards and the energies that you are looking to maintain within your reality, if they are refusing to align with that, then they themselves are the one that are putting themselves out in the cold, period. End of story. So don't allow them to make you feel like you're doing anything wrong because you're not. You're just setting the boundaries for yourself and for your loved ones. Whether you have a family now or whether you're looking to have a family in the future, now is the time to start laying those boundaries. And if they don't like it, they can kick rocks. I know that sounds harsh, but we don't have time to play. We're not fucking around here, guys, okay? <laughs> Five of Pentacles is coupled with... Oh, Damn, Aries, yo, the King of Swords. This is literally what I was just saying. This is not my problem, says Aries. This is absolutely your problem. You are the one that do not do not. That you are the one that does not want to face themselves. You are the one that does not want to clean up their act. Therefore, I can't have this in my reality. I can't have this in my energetic space because, quite frankly, if I allow this into my energetic space, then what am I telling the universe? I'm telling the universe that I continue to accept this energy in my life when I do not, when I am taking the steps and making the moves to not accept this in my reality any longer. Other than the emperor, this king of swords energy is that executive decision. Is seeing something for what it truly is beyond party lines, beyond blood lines, beyond, you know, uh, 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 some sort of superficial alliances or whatnot. No, looking at the core of the situation. What does this truly represent? Aside from all the fluff and all the, the, the smoke and mirrors and the deception and the lying and blah, blah, blah. What does this truly represent at the core? And do I allow that into my reality or not? And if not, the King of Swords is ready to make that cut. Wow. 
Oh man, Aries, this is, whoo, this is great. This is absolutely great. All right, getting into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you. The three of pentacles. This is the, this is uh, laying the groundwork I'm hearing. I really do feel like as you start to make certain cuts and start to free up some energetic space for yourself, Aries, there are people that are going to, that are going to align with you, that are going to come into your life, that are going to help you to continue building and constructing this foundation. I really am getting a very strong energy of teamwork here. There may already be some individuals in your life right now that you're working on creating some sort of structure, some sort of foundation. Again, whether this be like a family foundation, a home situation, or um, or business even, this I am getting a very strong energy of teamwork and things flowing very, well, very, very well, provided, provided that all members are clear on where each other stands and are willing to work together, okay? With that King of Swords energy there. Three of Pentacles is coupled with, oh shit, yes, Ten of Cups. This is an energy of working together, working hand in hand, working in tandem, yes, for the greater good, that's what I'm hearing, but ultimately to bring some sort of wish fulfillment. I do feel like whomever it is you're working with moving forward, you have a very common goal. It may not look exactly the same, and it doesn't have to look exactly the same. But ultimately, if you are working together, if you're teaming up with these people, then you do have a core common goal that you can work towards together and find this truth, find this balance, find this harmony. Okay? Very strong energy of teamwork. Uh, in terms of maybe the family or again a business endeavor, whatever whatever it is that you are that you have your sights set on with this chariot energy and your overall energy, whatever it is you're 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 passionate about and what you're balanced and moving towards, you do have a common goal with some other people that you're going to be working with quite successfully. I'm hearing okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the second half of your reading, the hierophant commitment, um, uh, Taurus energy. Uh, structure. I just get a strong commitment energy from the Hierophant. Um, so getting into that relationship energy that I was picking up on, you could actually become, come into ter come to terms with, or come into a reality or a situation which you're working with someone in order to develop a partnership, in order to develop a marriage, um, uh, 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 um, a community, maybe, um, a commitment, getting the ball rolling towards some sort of commitment, working together in the form of commitment or uh, with an, a commitment in mind in the near future, I'm hearing. The Hierophant is coupled with the Five of Wands. Very interesting. There may be some things that need to be ironed out in terms of what it is you truly want. I, I am feeling that there is the a very beginning, the very beginnings of two individuals, maybe even soulmates, divine twin flames or divine counterparts or whatever, however you want to, however you label it, however it um, resonates with you, there's an energy of coming together, setting the record straight and like working on getting on the same page with each other, ironing out your differences, airing out your grievances, um, expressing your concerns, expressing your desires, maybe even your fears, ironing that out so that you can work towards committing to each other so that you can work towards laying the foundation for growth in the future okay i don't want you to freak out this five of wands energy is not is really not too terrible it's literally just two individuals coming together and working towards two or more okay this doesn't necessarily just have to be a romantic situation this can be a creative or business partnership but it's I, it's two or more individuals coming together and pr putting forward their point of view and trying to find common ground so that you can continue with this teamwork endeavor. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, okay? Interesting. All right. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Aries. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. Communication. Clear, honest, and open communication. 
okay we're going we're, we're being brought back to this five of pentacles king of swords energy the the challenge here is i feel like it's one not to be too aggressive maybe not to be too focused on your own goals or desires i don't feel like that's too much of a concern like being like overly selfish here i really don't feel like that's what's happening the strongest thing i want to get is make sure that you that you're not coming across too strong or that you're not um be overly you're not being overly aggressive because this this knight of swords energy is necessary here um it's it's like the agent of this king of swords here but don't get a little don't don't get too overzealous okay um because also this this knight of swords energy can be very shoot first ask questions later or at least very quick to cut and, I, and just be cautious of that don't try to move too quickly and also don't uh, try not to be too aggressive okay yet maintain your stern trajectory that's a little bit of a tricky balance but i think you guys can definitely do it uh the knight of swords is coupled with the four of swords okay so um you might want to you might want to allow any sort of um communications to really run their course you might want to take some time yes you definitely want to take some time before you make that final cut okay so with this discerning energy of the five of pentacles and the king of swords yes use this king of swords energy to focus on seeing things as they truly are to gather your information but then but then take a moment to breathe to rest to sit on it like meatloaf said let me sleep on it right sleep on it for a little bit you don't have to make a decision right away or at least i don't feel like you really need to right now again so if you have some sort of contractual agreement on the horizon and people are really pushing you to just sign on the dotted line already it's like uh-uh no 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 i want to make sure that i am completely clear and honestly understand what's going on here before i agree to anything really make sure that you 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 hold your power and take your time and hold your space in order to make some sort of decision like that aries again if there's anyone out there that's really putting the hard sell on you to sign on the line as soon as possible be very cautious i would damn near and maybe this is being a little too aggressive but i may damn near just say you know what never mind something doesn't feel right about this you're not willing to allow me the time I, need, I would need to take to really feel comfortable and confident in moving in with moving moving forward with this agreement and because of that i don't I, this is not the this no no thank you but no and then move on to the next again don't let the the, the glitter and the shine fool your ego into allowing you to, to move forward with something that ultimately is just going to be extremely burdensome for you because trust me guys everything that glitters is not in fact gold yes closing message or potential outcome aries in the second half of your reading and it is 11 11 a.m right now so boop, boop, boop. yeah closing message or potential outcome second half of your reading is none other than the ace of swords i mean yes truth honesty clarity understanding integrity again guys if there is anybody in your life that is less acting in less than an integrous frame of mind or point of point of view you need to let that shit go cut it out just cut it out okay ace of swords is coupled with oh the five of swords yikes so okay but see what i'm hearing with this this is wisdom and understanding this is knowing how to choose this is picking your battles this is saying this is this is <laughs> yeah this is game recognized game and for those of you that don't know what that means this is someone that used to play the field or knows knows the games that people play recognizing that and 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 putting a stop to it removing themselves from the situation game recognized game okay this is understanding the pitfalls of a certain situation either having been the uh, um um perpetrator of this in the past i.e play the player knowing the game so recognizing it that way or having been through situations like this in the past and saying ah, 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 i recognize this i've been here before we're not doing this again game recognize game yes excellent aries <laughs> I really really like this for you i really like this for you all right let's get your over i'm um, sorry your um your oracle guidance for the month of january 
2020 for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more shuffle for you. Here we go. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, excuse me, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for my Aries, January 2020. Oracle message, please, for my Aries, January 2020. Ooh, we're going to do that one. Yep, that was the one. That was the one. Card number 14, Clan of the Wolf Heart. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this deck. The imagery is so beautiful. Um, okay. Here we go. This says, and focus, please. Can we, can we, can we? I guess that's good. Can we? There we go. That's much better. Okay. You belong to the clan of the wolf heart. This is a soul tribe with boundaries beyond bloodlines and geography. It is based on soul connection to love's wisdom and higher truths of great spirit. The clan is united through wolf medicine and the heart. They, these are the qualities of the divine feminine that unify, allowing for a palpable experience of oneness that brings power to our collective wisdom and purpose. In a reading, this says, Reach out for help from others whilst you, whilst you honor and respect your individuality and your own unique life journey. Balance social time with taking care of your own individual needs, including the need for time out in solitude to hear your inner truths and renew yourself. Anger can be a sign from the soul, a sacred gift that asks you to deal with a situation, to bring about something different and more empowering. Use your anger as a sacred gift with compassion and clear purpose. Fight wholeheartedly when you need to safeguard what truly matters. Be open to a greater guiding wisdom so that you know when to be merciful and when to cut something off completely. Believe in the power of your inner voice and do not silence yourself. Excellent. I also would recommend, if you are feeling drawn to, to look up wolf symbolism for you because it's very much leader energy but also leading the pack by example um, but also honoring the individualities of all individuals within the pack and yet still leading and being a unifying leader yes that's kind of that's the image that's the energy that i'm receiving from wolf energy right now um i would highly recommend if you're resonating with that to look that up on your own and to gain some sort of insight there for yourself but it's very much di uh, very much directly connected to that emperor energy that i was feeling for you aries okay all right guys so with that said i hope um this was helpful for you and i hope you have a fantastic month i look forward to connecting with you again for the for our next reading for the month of february and also if you would like to gain you know look into your own personal situation please don't hesitate to email me all the information is in the description box below yeah take care Bye.